Hello, and welcome to the stream, fellow daydreamers. We're going to work on continuing clearing the island today. Um, over the weekend, I had some free time, so I, I went ahead and I flattened the island. Now we just got to clear it of all pathways, flowers, and all that jazz. So today, I hope you drop into the chat and chit chat with me. We're going to be cleaning up the island. Um, camera's off today. <laughs> It's Monday, so we are just going to have some fun uh, hanging out together and cleaning up the island so that we have that blank canvas for what comes next. So I'm kind of excited. I can run from one side of the island to the other, which is really cool. <laughs> I've never been able to do that before, so that's kind of fun. So, um... Yeah, so let's get to it. Um, if you notice, I am dressed as Princess Peach. Um, we went and saw the Mario movie and that was a lot of fun. So, yeah, I'm sure if you've seen it, you're probably singing Peaches just like me. So. Oh, I love Punchy. Oh, I like it when he says me meow. It works for him. Let's leave it. Alright. We'll see you later, Punchy. So, yeah. So, to demonstrate what I have done so far, we are gonna run from one side of the island to the other. And okay, this is about halfway. Ready? Set? Go! <laughs> oh, look at the butterfly. Yeah, we gotta get those trees. I think we're gonna move those. That's part of the plaza from the museum. This is like the plaza over here. Yep, we are done. And if you look over here, there is no more castle. We're gonna build a bigger, better castle for our fantasy role-playing game that we're gonna set up on the island. This is kind of embarrassing. That's there so that my trees don't drop sticks anymore. We'll have to find a new place to hide those. We might pick those up momentarily. But dude, I kind of like this like rock shelf that we have along the way. It's kind of cool that red's here. Just this whole rock area, like it's so open to us now. It's kind of kind of cool, a different perspective that I wouldn't have had of this area. Cause I always just kind of closed it off. Like out of sight, out of mind type of feel there. Yep. I have not gotten rid of the rock circle that I attempted to make. <laughs> but we probably will because we're probably going to do something later like I kind of kept the water there because I wanted it to kind of be natural. But the problem is the only other outward place for the water to go is by the dock. All right, so let's get to it. Let's get started. Let's see what we got. Oh, I forgot to open that gift that was in the mail. Square backpack, what does that look like? What is that? Interesting. Okay. Cute floor lamp. Interesting. Okay, so <laughs> I know we're doing construction. Well, actually, we're kind of more like doing landscaping and gardening, but you know what? Princesses do that too, so we're gonna go ahead and keep the the funky get up. <laughs> so let's go ahead. Wrong one. Sorry, I've been playing Breath of the Wild. <laughs> so I'm getting like all my controls messed up. Okay, so now we can get rid of old landscaping. We kind of just want like a blank slate. 
We gotta get rid of flowers as well, but we're just clearing everything up. It's kind of silly that you have to put the grass palette on to clear things back to normal, but you do. It is what it is. So I was thinking of taking my big Godzilla and making like a mountain, but I haven't decided where I want to put him. It's gonna be more like the dragon of the land. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be streaming and doing this today. It's all about 310. So, yeah, about an hour and about 20 minutes. Hang out and do this together. Let's get some work done. Like, it'll be nice once we completely get to, like, have this blank slate and get started. I'm really excited. So we'll probably do quite a few builds on stream. Get the island ready. Um, like I said before, and past streams, if you're interested in being part of the RPG, I'm still working out, like, rules. Um, I kind of want it to play a little bit like a dungeon crawler. Um dice game, so I'm kind of like in the process of making some rules up. <laughs> I will probably have those like in the Discord once those are up, and then I'll be kind of screening other Animal Crossing players who are interested in playing, and you can join us on stream and we'll like host like a you know, live action type of d and I guess. I don't know what we're going to call it, but you get the idea, right? Animal Crossing and Dungeons? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just spitballing here. And I am open to suggestions. So. You know, I could never stand my resident services. It's like off center to like the airport. I know some people will keep restarting their islands until they get the, the resident services lined up. I didn't know you could do that <laughs> when I first started Perfect, but I kind of wish that I had. However, after all this time and work, I'm flattening the island instead of resetting it. just didn't want to uh, have to start over with items. And I'm also working on like 100%ing my museum. I'm not there yet, so I did not want to... Uh, completely reset. So, here we are. Spending an ungodly amount of time <laughs> flattening and clearing the island. But, yeah. You know, they say that anything worth having, you have to work for it. So, I'm hoping that, <laughs> I'm hoping that proves true for this, because and um, I took my kids roller skating on Saturday and I spent like two and a half hours just flattening the island and I finally got everything down to the ground level. <laughs> it was a lot, a lot of time. So, and I, I would have felt guilty making y'all hang out with me on stream that long for that. That would have been crazy. Although I do like having the stream on while I'm doing this because it's kind of nice to chat with people and, and not be so tedious. I think this is like the part of cozy gaming that some people just don't like is like the work of tearing stuff down or building. But it's necessary part of those type of games to kind of appreciate the process. Just not very entertaining. And I miss that side. It's so like nice today on the island. It was like raining <laughs> on the island on Saturday, which made it even more gloomy to bring everything down.
It's kind of silly seeing where all the paths are now, because it's like, why did I have this here? Where did this go? It's kind of weird seeing everything without any items or landscaping or terraforming. It's weird. I saw on Instagram someone completely made their entire island a desert. Like, after taking this all apart, like, I appreciate what they were setting out to accomplish so much more. At first I was kind of like, oh, you're just you're putting the sand all over the island. That's not... It's nothing special, but <laughs> after having to get rid of all your stuff and, like, you know, clear it so that you can do all this and doing all the paths, I suddenly have a newfound appreciation for what they must have gone through to make their entire island a desert. So I'm kind of wondering if I shouldn't make um, like resident services part of like a village. Like I might make like an outer wall to the castle, which would require me buying a ton more uh, castle walls. Or if I should make just a castle towards the back. But I kind of want to do something with like a uh, pirate ships in the back like because of red i know that's kind of cliche but it's also kind of fun <laughs> i don't want to plank I'll be able to make people walk something. the airport is kind of problematic because it doesn't necessarily like fit like the fantasy world but like i, I don't know i don't know how to make that Fan to see <laughs> this giant, uh, maybe like you ride on the dragon, it's like you know, like Shrek. You know how dragon takes them everywhere. Maybe I'll make like a sign for the Dragon Express or something stupid. I don't know, I haven't thought that far. Okay. Get rid of the sand. I think my villagers are mad at me. They, they've been protesting. Like, they really hated me when I took the water out. They would sit at every little spot so that I couldn't remove it. Never felt so guilty in my entire life for doing something to virtual characters. <laughs> Destroying their perfect island. if I should do like a custom path for this new island design. I kind of also want to match up the plaza with the castle like color wise because like I hate how different the plaza looks from everything else we build. Like I did the stone path when I first started out, but it always bothered me how like it looks in contrast to the stonework around the plaza. Maybe that sounds super excessive of me, but I hated it. <laughs> Alright, I hear a balloon. I wonder if it'll fall. Awesome. Oh, missed it. There we go. Oh, nice. We're gonna need lots of those, actually. Kinda cool. So I accidentally upgraded uh, 
Dr. Jones, my other playable NPC, like, well, I guess NPC, the very definition of an NPC is a non-playable character, but it's another profile character that I have on this island that I don't play. I just use him for photo shoots <laughs> and, uh, you know, like special events where I need more items, like Halloween. Um, but I was thinking of making his house that I just like accidentally purchased and started upgrading into maybe like the town library, making him kind of like a doctor, like smarty pants. I don't know. Working on a character backstory for him. You know what I really wish that I could put on my little Animal Crossing lady is like some pointy ears. I think I would make a very cute elf. And I think I'm gonna make my character an elf. I haven't decided yet. It's a Hylian. Oh, um, I also went and saw Suzumi this weekend at, uh, Peter's, and that was amazing, like, man, like, I really loved the animation for that, and the story was phenomenal. You could just tell that it was, like, so heavily inspired by Studio Ghibli films. There was, like, even Easter eggs. It was really cool. I think that when you look up to someone, the like something that you really love and then you create something really cool like to be able to pay homage to that that was really cool a lot of cool easter eggs in fact without any spoilers <laughs> the theater like the group of people that i was watching the movie with were really cool a bunch of random strangers but we all started like busting out this song when um when a, it was like an annoying character he was meant to be annoying but he was like singing uh, the song from Kiki's Delivery Service in his car. <laughs> like, the whole theater busted out singing it. It was really cool. It was a fun, uh, fun film. I cried a little bit. I got a little sad. And, um, but it was really fun. Fun film. I cannot recommend it enough. I mean, obviously I love Studio Ghibli and I want to see them continue to make great films. Um, but it is really awesome to see other studios make their own creation. It's not even like they're copying, but just like where like they're really honoring that standard that Studio Ghibli set for like a great anime movie. Really cool. And I have never gotten to see like an anime in theater, which was also really awesome for me. My husband would always flex on me that, you know, he's, he got to see like Vampire Hunter D and stuff in theaters back in the day. I never, I grew up in like a really small town. So I never got that experience. So I got to enjoy the, the city girl experience of getting to see anime in theater, <laughs> which was really awesome. Oh. That was a great movie. And out of 10. Wow, we almost got this whole beach area cleared out. So maybe, like, getting rid of all the landscaping and stuff won't take as long as flattening did. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I guess. It'd be kind of nice to look at everything as... Uh, a blank slate as much as possible before we get started. That way I have like no preconceived notions of where I had pathing or hills, that kind of stuff. Just a clean slate. I wish I had more room to put the villagers all on the beach. That would have been nice because I feel like having all my houses in that one area still, it feels very similar to what Perfect was before. So. 
if anyone is interested, you could always to, uh, I have on my Instagram, the dream address for perfect still up and, um, it has what the island looked like, um, when we were uh, streaming before and when we did a charity stream. So, um, I have that dream address up on my Instagram. I also am working on an island tour video that I made. Um, I'm just, I'm in editing for that. And I was trying to do a sound like, get some music in it and voiceover for my video. And I will probably have that up here soon. But you can still check out what Perfect looked like before I started tearing it apart. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny, like, cleaning up as Princess Peach. Peaches, peaches, peaches. That's like also my native fruit for this island. <laughs> I wonder what their conversation's about. Like, I like how in Disney Dreamlight Valley, like, when villagers there are having, like, a conversation, you can eavesdrop. It, like, puts what they're saying, like, above their heads. In Animal Crossing, you have to, like, go up and actually, like, get into the conversation with them to find out. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, they're dancing together. What? That is so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, and this is why my island is full of just cats. I'm gonna have to think of like a wild backstory for the fantasy RPG island. <laughs> why this island is like just cat people. <laughs> I'll come up with something. But... <laughs> Definitely not going to be easy. <laughs> I've contemplated like getting different types of animals on my island, but it just feels like blasphemy to have other animals on an island that was created for cats. <laughs> uh, plus like on my... <coughs> Sorry, with my island that I share with my family, like on the family switch, we have other villagers that we have on there. Like the only one that my husband is like adamant that can't leave the island is Zucker. <laughs> um, and we have Kabuki on that island. So he's my only cat on that island. So I also love Kabuki. Like, his deep voice does not seem like it should come out of him at all. I also like, too, like, how Kabuki just, like, very cool cat. It's very kind cat, too. So, I have Kabuki on the island with my family, Waterfall. And that's kind of, like, just your very stereotypical island. It's, like, no theme. Uh, our kids played on there when they were younger. Um... My husband plays on there from time to time when he plays with me. Yeah, so I have other types of villagers on that island. And that kind of... Kind of makes it nice, right? If I want to go see other villagers besides for cats, <laughs> I can go to our family island. I guess is what I was trying to say. <laughs> Muscle tank. So, I don't know. Sometimes I don't like having the camera on. I was thinking about like doing like VTubing, like where you have like a character that moves and but I don't know, that that also seems kind of impersonal. I don't know. Some days I just don't feel like having the camera on. Um, 
I have like rosacea, so sometimes my face looks like a like a lobster. <laughs> and that just doesn't equate well into streaming because I have to adjust the lighting constantly to kind of make myself not look like a cherry tomato. Oh. I don't know, I was thinking about VTubing. If anyone thinks that sounds cool, let me know. If you think it sounds weird, also let me know. Uh, I feel sad taking this down, but I will put it up. I will put it up somewhere else once we get everything set up. There will be some kind of epilepsy foundation sign. We will have something very nice up in its place. I left this little like uh, cross of water because that's like where my plane flies over. I had like a really cool. Oh, no, What's up, bro? <laughs> I like running into you. <laughs> I like running into you too, Bob. I think I made him say sup, bro. <laughs> uh. <sighs> He's like Ramona from Scott Pilgrim. Just runs through the subspace of my mind and my dreams. Alright, Bob. That specific dream drop. I don't know. I don't know what you call that. Yeah, so I had three bridges right there, which was a really cool flyover. But I think I might want to do my castle. I don't know, but I also don't know if I want it to be visible top down because sometimes with castles you kind of have to hide the way the walls meet. Or at least I did in my last castle build. Oh. So I don't know yet, but I just, I marked it. That's like the only water that we have as a pond or anything. But I kind of marked it so I knew where the flyover was. That way I didn't have to like search for it. Or so I didn't put down like a path and accidentally put there. Out. Yeah, so I want kind of like maybe something that looks like the ser resident services. Oh. I also don't know if I'm gonna make this look like medieval or kind of modern fantasy, kind of like uh, arcane, like how Piltover is really modern. I don't know. I decided what I want yet. I do want castles, dragons, mines, like monsters, that kind of stuff. And I'm probably gonna try to create some mini games so that when we are having like people on the island for like the role playing aspect of it, we have challenges. So, kind of fun. Hopefully, it works. <laughs> if not, I'll just have like a really cool fantasy island. This was from the playground. I'm also trying to think if I should change my flag or not. I don't know. A little sentimentally attached to that flag because that's actually like a picture of one of our actual cats, Panda. Alright, all of this area.
Yeah, I wonder if I should just go kick up this border on everything. Be a lot faster. Oh, Princess Peach's shoes are getting dirty. <laughs> There's Bowser right there. I need a grand piano. And then you could just be like, Peach is Peach. Alright, I'm no Jack Black. <laughs> you get the idea. I hope this is faster. I might just be deluding myself. Kick it all the way. I wish like we could just kick the paths away, but I understand why we can't. Sometimes like when you're playing, it's actually really annoying to kick your custom paths away. Then have to re put it back down. So I'm also kind of wondering if I should even put custom paths down. The jury is out. I was a little late to the stream today because um, I had to go mail off our taxes. I don't know if anyone else is dealing with their taxes, but a tax deadline is tomorrow. <laughs> Nothing like, you know, trying to get stuff done last minute. But nice to have it all done. But, um, I'm probably not going to be streaming on Thursday this week, so we might do Breath of the Wild on uh, Wednesday and Friday this week. I think uh, Thursday we're, we're going to skip streaming on Thursday. Tomorrow I will either play some more Animal Crossing or Disney Dreamlight. Side. I'm kind of wondering too if those lamps aren't gonna look kinda of out of place on a fantasy island. I wish there was like a way to hide them. Get that bullet. There. I missed that. stuff away and sell some stuff while we're over here. All these weird items put away. <laughs> I'm like so dangerously close to my limit. But I did, I have managed to pretty much take everything off the island, so... That is a win-win. Darn, I was hoping there would just be a grand piano in here today. <laughs> I 
I selected an empty spot. <laughs> You're welcome, guys. Thank you for your dedication to Nook's Cranny. <laughs> okay, let's get back to what we were working on over here. So sad. This was once a post office. So if I do play Animal Crossing tomorrow, we might take a break from flattening the island. I got Isabel and uh, Digby's uh, amiibos. And I was thinking of like building them a house together because they're brother and sister on Happy Home. So we might take a break from flattening and you know, all this hard work to get the island blank canvas, have some fun and design something. If we play Animal Crossing tomorrow, that's what I will be doing. Kind of excited. I haven't taken them out of the box yet. They're just sitting on my shelf looking cool. <gasps> well, the post office is no more. <laughs> Man, at first I like felt like this made the island feel bigger, but now I kind of feel like it feels smaller. <laughs> now that there's like nothing on it. Another balloon. Okay, I think that might be it for this area. Good. There it is. Oh no! I forgot to buy. <laughs> I wonder if I have an extra one. Because if I go into the store to buy one, it's gonna be gone. Some nets, so <laughs> lots of magical wands, which is gonna come in real handy for this next island design. Summer. Actually, I mean, I'm gonna lose the balloon anyways. I might as well get a slingshot and then not worry about it later. Get a slingshot. Why worry about spending a bunch of extra bells? <laughs> we're gonna need those bells for all the castle walls we're gonna have to build and buy. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I 
You know, I thought they were hating this, but I think they're kind of enjoying being able to run around. I think it's time to take Godzilla with us. <gasps> oh, okay. Alright. I thought I did most of these when I took down the castle, but apparently I did not. be kind of funny to just leave the island like completely flat like no depth at all so there's this animal crossing uh, streamer well I don't know that Bela streams but he does put a lot of cool stuff out on animal crossing he has like a radioactive island um, her island is actually really flat. I mean, it does have a little depth to it because she used like depth to like build like this wall because like part of the radioactive side is like quarantined. But it's really cool. Hers is actually it's pretty flat. So I mean, it can be done and it can look really cool. So I don't know. Kind of intriguing to just leave it flat. Thanks for the follow! Welcome to the chat! Hi! How's your Monday going? I'm doing good! How are you doing, Isla? Is that... Would it be Isla Evelyn? I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I don't think we have any pads back here. Ooh, we do have fossils, though. So. Oh, good, I'm glad you're doing good. It's always good when Mondays go good. It kind of sets, like, a good vibe for the rest of the week. That's good, I'm glad you're doing good. Yes, okay. I don't think I have any pads back here. I think we're gonna have to go to the plaza where the museum area was. Unless I want to clear out the front first. Um, I've been doing good playing. I was playing some Breath of the Wild last week. <laughs> and um, playing Animal Crossing too. How, how have you been? What games have you been playing? Yeah, I, I'm getting ready, like, for Tears of the Kingdom, trying to, like, re-familiarize myself with Breath of the Wild. Like, I haven't played in four years. <laughs> so I thought I'd bust it out and play it on stream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've played Minecraft. I'm not very good at it, though. My son, like, he's way better at building in Minecraft than me. I'm kind of, like, a slowpoke. I'm always getting us killed, especially in survival. Like, in survival mode, I, I can't play Minecraft in survival mode. I get a skill. <laughs> Do you enjoy playing Minecraft? <laughs> oh, that's cool. I'm glad you like that. It's a good game. Good game. So, what what aspect of uh, Minecraft are you really into? Do you like uh, the building and the creative, or do you like uh, survival? This what like I I had a bunch of roses planted around here, and. Um, Actually, I think this is where I had the hedges where the museum was. This is kind of weird seeing my island without anything on it. I don't know where I am. <laughs> okay, cool. Isla said, I, I'm i creating my house. That's it. <laughs> That's cool. It's kind of fun to like decorate 
in that game. Like, I think that's what I enjoyed the most about playing. Um, like I said, I was really bad at surviving. Like, I was just doo-doo. I was garbage at it. So, that's cool. So are you building, like, like a big, big house? Like a two-story house? Or what are you building? Oh, um... Like, normally on Animal Crossing, my daily routine on here is more like, um, you know, looking for fossils, messages on the island, beaches, that kind of thing. But right now, I am deconstructing my island. I'm tearing it apart, and I'm creating kind of like a role-playing game for the island that we can play on stream. So, kind of trying to do something different. Kind of mixing it up. The island was finished and kind of stagnant. So instead of just resetting the game, I, I thought it would be a better idea to save all the items that I've acquired and just create a blank canvas, I guess. <laughs> it's not as like nice as cleaning up in Minecraft where you could just continually like go and break blocks. Sometimes it has like a little, uh, I don't know what you'd call it. It was syncrasies, like with terraforming, like if you hit it, you'll only break off like half of it. I wish, I wish it was easier to like build and create in like Minecraft. Kinda, kinda tricky sometimes. And tedious, you can't go as fast as you can in Minecraft. You just break all those blocks. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I'm hoping, like, I kind of want to create, like, some mines, like a mountain with a dragon. Kind of create some rules for it. Kind of like uh, Dungeons and Dragons. So, still working on rules for it. It's a little complicated because you'll have, like, a bunch of other players on here. I'm planning of using, like, Discord to kind of have chat going. <laughs> So I'm going to have to work on like uh, seeing who all is interested in trying it out and filtering people out to make sure, you know, appropriateness and all that stuff. So I got a lot of work ahead of me on Animal Crossing here to get that game up off the ground. Be kind of fun. I'm also looking for like a virtual uh, dice, I guess, so that we can use like that D20 system of rolling for moves and attacks. Um, I have not found a dice yet and that I can capture via OBS for the streaming aspect. Uh, in Animal Crossing New Leaf, there used to be like um, a separate place where you would go and play mini games. And I really like that about that version of Animal Crossing and you used to be able to play those mini games with your friends. So that's kind of kind of what inspired me to like kind of create a role-playing Animal Crossing type game on stream but also too like I started like really kind of trying to learn how to play Dungeons and Dragons and that, it's pretty fun so I thought it would be a cool way to bring that to my favorite video game. Oh okay so so do you you watch streaming daily? That's cool. I guess, um, oh, so you're asking like my daily routine, like what I actually do, like in real life, gotcha. Um, in real life, <laughs> I have like three kids. So my daily routine is like, um, get them off to school, take them, uh, whatever needs to be done. And, I'm currently learning a lot about audio engineering. So um, that's what I'm doing right now. So I kind of want to get into doing voiceover work. So lots of auditioning. <laughs> so I don't really, I mean, other than like getting the kids off to school, <laughs> um, my daily routine consists of like educating myself and auditioning. Um, right now I'm building like a audio booth to go around like my streaming setup because I, I did audio recording like I have a sauna 
<laughs> and I used to do audio recording in there. So I'm creating like a recording booth, I guess. I'm building one of those, so. But I try to stream. I'm trying to be more consistent with streaming. So I'm central standard time. So I, I'm trying to stream after lunch in this weird pocket window I have of time where I can't really get much else accomplished. <laughs> So I'm like, eh, I might as well take a break from what I've been working on and have fun and hang out with others. Kind of a mental health break too, actually. Kind of nice to chit chat with others. Oh, okay, cool. Cool. So uh, Isla said that they are a, a digital designer. Okay, so, so you kind of get that. Do you work from home? Open this. Neon leggings. Ooh, that sounds fancy. All right, let's switch back. No, not dirt. We need grass. That's cool. Like, oh, okay, cool. So you work with an agency. So you go into work then. Okay. All right. That's cool. So, like, when you watch streaming as part of your daily routine, who's your favorite streamers? Yeah, sure. You can send me some work. Um, like, I love art. Um, yeah, share with me your Instagram. Or I also have a Discord. If you want to jump in the Discord and share it, you can do that too. Um, I'll probably look at it like after I stream, though. Yeah, so I do have a Discord. It's on my About page. Um, there is a whole like set of links on there, on the About page. And also, too, I usually post my streaming schedule. Um, I have not gotten that up yet for this week. <laughs> kind of reminded me. But yeah, so that's a good place to go for like info. This is my Twitch about page. Oh, well, it's so sad we're clearing out where the museum once was. So what kind of like a uh, graphic design and design work do you do? I kind of, I like to dabble in art myself, but it's more like fan art type stuff, but I'm really bad. <laughs> oh, you can't see the discord? Oh, hmm. um, I don't know. It, it's set up to go directly to like an, in, like it'll send like an invitation. So I don't think that, because I don't pay for Nitro, <laughs> I don't think I get like an ID. Sure, so look at that. But if you have Instagram, um, you can message me on there too. I can send you a, an invite to that later, I guess. Wow, we got so much of this cleared out already. So this is where like my T-Rex was, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Wow, this is crazy. We 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 made some some progress today. This is good. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I will definitely check out your Instagram. That's cool. I think after I get all these paths done, I'm gonna work on digging up flowers if we still have time. <laughs> oh, I missed one. Oh. I've gotten rid of the post office area, the resident services area, the castle, the beach area. There's some stuff over by the neighborhoods that I think I have to get rid of too, but it's almost the end of all the paths. It'll be quite interesting to see the island with literally like nothing indicating where anything once was. I 
think I hear a balloon. Good thing I bought a slingshot. <laughs> it's so fun running around as Princess Peach. Oh, sorry, Bob. Hear it. Maybe I'm just going crazy. I know there's a balloon. Oh, there's Mitzi. Nope, I don't hear it anymore. Maybe it's like... We're here? <laughs> it's kind of wild. Like... I could have sworn I heard a balloon. <laughs> oh well. Oh, I did hear a balloon. There it is. Hey. Right. See if I can shoot it down one shot this time. Yes! Alright! Cool. See if we got anything good. Iron! What do I need iron for? Come on, Animal Crossing gods. We need some money. <laughs> uh. All right. You know what would be cool is it like I know there's an option to just like reset the island and uh Oh, okay. Give me just a second. Pull that up. Okay. Got it. Weird. Street. Yep. All right. Cool. <laughs> All right. It worked. <laughs> I see you on there. So cool. I'm glad it worked. Awesome. Also, when I wave back, for some reason, it just randomly selects <laughs> an emo. <laughs> that one is kind of oddly cute. Like a little waving chicken, I guess. Yep, so the Discord, the Discord invite worked. So, very cool. Welcome to my Discord. <laughs> It's not as fancy as most streamers' discords, but I'm just, I'm a small streamer. So. <laughs> Very simple. I kind of just keep it open for like announcements or if people want to share stuff, so. And hopefully once we get the RPG going, it will use it for like, for chatting if we need to. We'll see how that goes. Ah, I gotta kick all these paths away making it hard to get rid of those paths. So Isla, do you play Animal Crossing? There we go. We got all of them. Now we can get rid of this. Yay! That's much easier. Whoops, I just made the grass grass. Oh darn, I think I closed stream manager. <laughs> I hope y'all can still... Okay, there we go, I got back into that. That way I can manage the chat here. For some reason, I I have a like a delay on my OBS chat, but the stream manager for Twitch, I do not have a delay. And I tried to keep that open. Let's see, chat better. Yes! All right! Slay! We just destroyed the museum plaza. It's all gone. Hurrah! Okay, I think I might still have paths for the Japanese tea garden. Those would be over here if I did. Nope! Nice. So I think we have a little bit more. Yep, we have more over here where the the botanical garden was. Oh, we gotta kick all these edges to the curb. There we go. Nice. 
I wish that like the like custom patterns that we created in this game would just come away with like the paths, but for some reason they do not. Kind of debating whether I even want to put a border around the paths in my next game. Well, I guess my next design is the same pilot. Another balloon! I hope this is money. Please be money. <laughs> Pineapple Aloha shorts. Oh my god. I'm just gonna put them on. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't know that it made a sound when you put on Peach's dress. That's so adorable. Alright. We're gonna go back to kicking the border away. There we go. I think I might have like a lot of padding here because this was like um, by a botanical garden and along the river. So this might be a bigger undertaking. Is at a weird angle because they're circular. Darn. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with all the flowers. I haven't decided where I want to put those. I might put those on the beach so that I still have like one of each flower. But That one's not going away. There it goes. Alright. I think we're gonna start back up at the top. Oh, it's Tom. Hey, Tom. Ooh, yeah, I could use a safety vest. It would be great for construction. <laughs> Alrighty. Now we're gonna get this path down. Okay. Uh, I have grass selected. Like I'm laying sod. just get all the paths off the island today. So that's really cool. That will only leave like uh, you know flowers and trees to kind of move around. It'd be really nice and then we can get started building. So I think if I get all that done tomorrow I might just take a break and do the happy home uh, vacation home for for Isabel and Digby, like I talked about. So that'll be kind of cool. I'll actually get to do some designing. That'll be fun. It's been a while. Spent a couple good weeks flattening the island. <laughs> be nice to actually create something. I think I'm over the whole demolition stuff now. Oh, okay. Um. I will go check that real quick, Isla. Just a sec. Oh, 
that's really cool. Wow. Really good. Oh, cool. So you do like some stream graphics too. That's cool. Oh, I like your, uh, I like how you uh, made someone look like Naruto. That's really cool. Do you like uh, anime? That's really cool. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, me too. I really like, like anime. I actually went to see uh, Suzumi yesterday in theater. It was really good. I highly recommend that movie. What, which animes are you a fan of? Dang. I'll have to watch the video you sent later, like when I'm not on stream, but you make some really cute like PFPs too. That's really cool. Very talented. It's really cool. <laughs> Tom, he's just standing in the way. Like we're gonna we're gonna gently Oh good, he moved. Okay. I don't have to be bossy. Push him around. I don't like pushing my villagers around. I know some people will like hit them with their nets and stuff like that, but that hurts my heart. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> Oh no, I accidentally talked to him. <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> At least we just kind of like wave cordially and okay, we're gonna move him. Go hang out with the garden. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't wanna have to talk to you every time I try to get rid of this. Oh, well, so Isla, <laughs> I have looked at the cost for VTuber models. <laughs> Those are very, very expensive. Like, I think if I do go with that, I'm probably gonna like, <laughs> probably do some of the like, um, like inexpensive free ones that they have. I'm not proud of that. But maybe if like my stream grew, I probably would invest in VTuber models. So do you, do you make VTuber models for people? That's really cool. I've always like, really wondered how they like program all those to move so like smoothly with your like motion capture and stuff. Oh man. I forgot to kick all this stuff away. Alright. There we go. Well I, I wouldn't mind taking a look. That's cool. That's cool that you do that. That's like really hard. A lot of really cool stuff that goes into that. Oh no, Mitzi is by the path. <laughs> well, um, I am interested just Right now, I, I, I like I said, I'm kind of a small streamer. I don't I don't quite have the budget. This is a hobby. <laughs> a lot of the graphics and stuff that you see on my page and like on my Instagram, I've done myself. So uh, I, I wish I wish that I could, <laughs> even with a discount, which is really sweet, by the way. I am. Uh, this is just a hobby, so. My budget, oh, you're so sweet. My budget for streaming is like nil. <laughs> like, I, I'm not a big enough streamer. I think like I, the only thing I've invested in streaming is my own time. Um, so I don't really, I don't really have a budget for streaming. <laughs> I wish I did. There's so many cool like artists out there, and you are amazing. You are an amazing artist. Your art's really great. I, I'm not like a, you know, I don't have a budget like Loser Fruit or, you know, Pokemon or any of those great streamers. I am like, this is just my hobby. <laughs> no, 
though. Like, um, on my about page and stuff like that, like, I did, I did all that myself. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of creative, but I'm just, I'm not, I'm not as good as, you know, the pros. Like you, you're awesome. Your art is amazing. Uh-oh, Punchy better not be thinking of leaving. Oh, got it. I feel mean. I'm like that crazy island person that are like, you can't leave the island ever. Yeah, he wants to leave. Not happening. You know what? Let's go ahead. We'll just get rid of this because they're all over there. If I try to get rid of the paths over there, I'm going to accidentally talk to them. Which there's nothing wrong with talking to them. It's just I'm not going to get this path cleared out as fast. <laughs> it kind of looks like a snake now. Or like one of those claw toy machines. Where you use the claw. Like from like a uh, Toy Story. <laughs> Maybe they'll all move out of the way so I can do the bottom after this. Yay! Okay, so the whole path that came down by the river is gone. Now I can work on this path that was once the boardwalk. A little sad. <laughs> well, Isla, if you want to share that with me in the Discord, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> all right, we're so close to getting all these paths put away. Or put away, what am I saying? Getting rid of them. <laughs> All right, let's kick away this so we can take out these paths easier. Kind of slows us down to have to stop and get rid of these. Well, they're still walking around here too. It's okay. This was like, I had like a bunch of like Vendors right here on my boardwalk, like ice cream, cotton candy is so cute. Oh, I kind of miss perfect the way it was, but time to create new things. This away. Glad I'm not like accidentally picking these flowers because that would really stink. These are like the flowers that you get when your island's five stars. Got a lot of them. Feels pretty nice. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with these bad boys and like the new like design of the island. Maybe I'll make like a flower garden that's like special inside the castle. Like a castle courtyard with nothing but like lily of the valleys. Oh, here comes Lolly. She's gonna wanna talk to us. Nope. So close. Got all these borders kicked away. I left. Uh, 
And I had like this really like I think this was where like uh, Nook's cranny was, <laughs> and I had the Able Sisters like right next to it. Oh, it's so sad seeing it all like all empty. It's like uh like in a big city where like <laughs> this is kind of morbid, but like where the bur like the building burns down, just have an empty lot. It's like what this is right here. It's sad. Oh. And then I had like this huge craft station back here. Um, well, it's what I don't normally like do like voice calls with like um, viewers. So probably like not, but you're more than welcome to message me in the discord about that if, you, if you'd like. <laughs> oh, we're so close get this all cleared out. I'm like racing the clock. I only have about like 10 more minutes. Just trying to get all these paths gone. Like my goal for today. I hope I can get them all done. No more paths. It's weird because, like, I thought that the buildings took up more squares. Yeah, thanks for. Yeah, you, thank you for asking. I appreciate that. Like, it's so weird. Like, I could have sworn that the Able Sisters, like, took up more space than this. This empty space seems like it should be bigger, I guess. The shop was right there. Weird. So weird seeing it empty. All right, I think we got all the border. Oh, border right here. Oh, and I got the borders over here still. And I think I'm ready to start taking the path out. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can get all this done in 10 minutes. Let's see if we can take out this section. Like a speed run, but for like Animal Crossing demolition. <laughs> All right, we're re ready. All right, got my grass loaded. Tom, you're in the way. On your marks, get started. Go. Gotta get rid of this whole area. Ten minutes. <laughs> if I can do it. I should have set like a timer. There's like an Animal Crossing timer. I never use it. You know what? Just for shits and giggles, we're gonna get it out. Let's see if I can do it. All right, where is my timer? I know I have one. It's like I never, it's never used. I have so many of those things. There, there we go. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. She's dressed as she's dressed as Princess Peach. <laughs> we uh, we went and saw the Mario movie. So, all right, let's set this for ten minutes. That's all we have left on this stream. All right, we're gonna try to get this done in ten minutes. Let's go. <laughs> I never use this. This is fun. I see people use it for games. So like when they have like games on their stream, we might use it for that. Like I like how it's like counting my fish or butterflies or creatures and all I'm doing is using it to like motivate myself to get all these paths eliminated. <laughs> uh, we can do it. We can get all these paths done. Get rid of them. Erase the clock. <laughs> oh no! Wiping the same path twice. Oh goodness. Man, it's making me dizzy. Get rid of this. No! Wasting time wiping the same spot. <laughs> yes. Oh, 
Oh, uh, Isla asked uh, what type of games I like the most. Um, I like cozy games the most, but I do enjoy like role-playing fighting games. Um, kind of like Breath of the Wild, um, you know, Kuni, those type of games, um, Final Fantasy. Um, so those type of games. I also like the kind of games where you're crafting, building, and surviving even though I'm bad at Minecraft survival. Um, and I uh, started playing Stardew Valley with uh, one of my kids. <laughs> so I like I like those kind of games. Um, I also play Fortnite, but I play that with like my friends and my husband. So that's really like the only shooter fighting game I really play. Goodness, I'm like wiping areas that I've already wiped. Like, I'm not working well under pressure. <laughs> what type of games do you like, Isla? What kind of games do you enjoy playing? Uh, like, other than Minecraft, what types do you like? Seven minutes on the clock. Oh, you like fighting games? Which, um, which fighting games do you like to play? So, do you mind me asking what brought you to the Animal Crossing side of, uh, of Twitch today? <laughs> oh, that's cool. I've never played that before on mobile. No, Tom, we can't talk to you. We're racing the clock. <coughs> <coughs> I made a maze for myself. It's not good. I did not. I did not come at this with strategy. <laughs> there we go. Oh, the purpose? So the purpose of Animal Crossing, um, you come to this deserted island and you start paying a raccoon back for a tent that you get. <laughs> and then eventually he builds you a house and then you have to pay him back for the house. <laughs> you expand your house. Um, you invite cute little animals to come live on your island. Or sometimes they just randomly show up. <laughs> But really, like, designing and decorating was kind of the purpose, I think. <laughs> it's kind of the whole combination package of being eternally in debt to Tom Nook, Raccoon, and coexisting with a cute little animal villagers. So, Nintendo has been making Animal Crossing since, like, man, since, like, the GameCube, I want to say? Maybe even before that. There's also Animal Crossing games that are mobile. There's Animal Pocket Camp if you enjoy like uh, mobile games. Like you mentioned the fighting game that you play is mobile. There's like a mobile Animal Crossing too. So yeah, that, that was kind of just the purpose. I think it's more like, it's meant to be relaxing, I think. You can fish, you catch the bugs. Um, you dig for fossils and you donate them to the museum. So you're like building out a museum too. So there's just a lot going on here. You also have to like uh, get the island to like a five star status in order to get like... <laughs> he, he's a dog that like is really famous and he, he's like the only musician in this world. So you're trying to get KK Slider to come to your island and have a concert. <laughs> Right? Right? Okay, so I kind of agree with you on that. Cleaning the garden is definitely, like, the only purpose. <laughs> Today, like, this is not a good indication of what this game is. <laughs> I, I'm doing what's called, like, a flattening, where you get rid of everything on your island um, and start over. Some people just completely reset the game, but I've put a lot of time and effort 
So I don't want to just get rid of everything. So I'm doing something that not a lot of people do <laughs> to their islands. Man, the clock's running and I'm getting a balloon. <laughs> but yeah, it's a really fun game. Oh, yes. Okay. At least we got money out of it. Okay. <laughs> it was worth it. It was worth it to lose time on the clock for. 30,000 bells is a, a decent amount. But yeah, I like that. Next time someone asks me <laughs> the purpose of the game, I will tell them, uh, cleaning up your garden. That's it. That's all you have to do. You can also, like, breed flowers in this game, which is really kind of cool. You you breed them to get like rare flowers and stuff. So there's quite a few different objectives going on. All at once. No, oh, we only have two minutes and 37 seconds left. We're not gonna make it. Man. I think because the flowers are there, it's acting weird. Man, I kind of appreciated that, like, top-down look. I wonder how I accomplished that. Mary, no! <laughs> She's gonna get in the way, and then we're gonna be forced to talk to her. I have no idea, Mary. The challenge that I set for myself. I have to get this done. Get so far away. <laughs> and one and twenty six seconds. I don't think I'm going to make it. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have set a goal for myself because I feel like I let myself down. So close, so close. Maybe I'll make it. Probably not, but wishful thinking. Why am I wiping an area that doesn't need to be wiped? <laughs> 40, 43 seconds left. Right? <laughs> I don't have any time. No! No! Double wiping. I'm just gonna like wipe randomly. Like, get rid of this pass. No! 24 seconds. <laughs> I suck. <laughs> no! I'm gonna leave like that one square on accident. Can't do that. No! 10! 9! Six, five, two, no! Ah, man, that's a doo-doo garbage. Man, I let myself down. <laughs> well, it looks like I did not finish my, <laughs> my goal for myself. Well, on that terrible bombshell, guys, um, we're going to conclude this stream for today. Uh, thanks for joining in. If you were watching, thank you. Thanks, Isla, for being in the chat. Um, and thanks for sharing your artwork. It was really cool. So, fellow daydreamers, you have a great day. Uh, like and subscribe. Follow on my socials. And I will see you later.